How's it going, everybody? Trainer Caller here, and it's time for a narrated Wi-Fi battle. It's Friday, and I promise you guys a Friday upload, so enjoy it. This is a passerby match against Odo. If you look at our teams here, I'm using several new Pokemon that I recently trained up. So, from left to right, we've got a shiny Dragology, and I got this from a giveaway, I think. And it's a physically based Dragology, which is interesting. You don't normally see that set anywhere else, but, you know, that makes it unique, right? And then we have Ash, uh, Charizard Y, and uh, this one is very similar to my other Charizard Y that I used previously. And um, a Rock Polish Swords Gas Rhyperior. Haven't used that set before, so we'll see how that goes. You set up a Rock Polish to double the speed. Then you go with Sword Stance to boost up your attack. And you get to Wreck Shop. Amazing. And then we have... This is a... This is the event Shaman that I got... Uh, from the recent Shaman giveaway from this year. And I put Synthesis on this set. Normally, I would put Rest on it, but I find that Rest is not a good option. Uh, so I'm going to try Synthesis this time. Of course, Synthesis, if you're low on HP, you get to restore your HP by a significant amount when you're using it, especially in the sunlight. So I pair it up Shaman with Charizard Y so I can restore all of my HP while I use Synthesis with the sun up. Awesome. And then we have Vaporacav. Vaporacav is Vaporeon. And um, Vaporeon is defensive with a little bit of special attack in there so that Ice Beam and uh, Scald do damage. Then we have Hoopa to back it up. The main threats on Odo's team is going to be Weavile, mainly, because Weavile hits, like, half of my team members. So, Icicle Crash, Ice Shard, which is a priority move, it's going to hit Dragology, it's going to hit Rhyperior, it's going to hit Shaman. So, yeah, and in addition, Weavile can knock off, so... Vaporeon would not appreciate being knocked off. So does Hoopa and Rhyperior. Other, other things, I guess Gyarados, if it's a Mega Gyarados, that could be a little bit threatening. But if I can set up a Rock Polish and a Swords Dance with Rhyperior, then most of his Pokemon are not going to be as threatening as it should be. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and let's get to the match. Enjoy. Alright guys, I'm back. So my opponent is going to start with Gudra. And I'm going to start with Malice, the shiny Dragology I got from a giveaway. Shout out to the person. I think that was Heavy Metal Fairy on Twitter. So thank you, man, for that Dragology. And um, I knew I could live a Dragon Pulse because it's this particular Dragology has a little bit of special defense investment. And we get to fire off an Outrage, which I guess... It works out in this scenario for a little bit until Weavile shows up. I cannot switch out because I am locked in on Outrage, so I have to stay in. He does reveal Ice Shard, which is important. So we're going to ask the Charizard Y, Mega Evolve, and uh, I opted to use Dragon Pulse. I was really sure he was going to switch out. Because the fire type move was so obvious. But he goes for knockoff, uh, which after the mega evolution, it's not going to do very much. So, yeah, there you go. And it's a two hit KO. I was going to go for a flamethrower the next turn. But, of course, the icicle crash flinches Charizard. Wonderful. So, if I. Did not get flinched there. I was taking out Weavile. And you're going to see just how annoying Weavile is in general in this match. Not just taking out 
Charizard. So we go to the Vapor Cav, my Vaporeon, and uh, we get locked off. And we said in the uh, team preview analysis that, you know, Vaporeon does not appreciate being locked off. So I go for Wish. And he gets a critical hit just to make things interesting. I'm hoping for a burn off this skull that I go for, and I don't get the burn. Of course, skull does get decreased in power, but that's not the main focus for going for that move. I just wanted to burn it, and I didn't get burned, which really sucks. Uh, but we do end up we do end up kicking it out after several turns that just. That just sucked that it took that many turns. If I did not get flinched... <sighs> okay. So, this Rotom here, Rotom Mo form, has Leaf Storm, and the only answer for that is going to be Shaman. And it actually does a lot of damage. I'm thinking that this Rotom is choice specs, but it's actually not. I go for Earth Power. I do have Speed, which is interesting. Um, I did go for Earth Power. That was a misclick. I really thought he was going to switch out there. But I'm like, you know what? Since he's stuck with minus two special attack, and he's not going to be switching out or anything like that, we're going to go for Synthesis, get our HP back. And I believe the sun is gone at this point. I'm going to go for Psychic. We're going to see how much this does. And it does okay damage. I'm not really sure why he's going for Trick. I don't understand. I just don't understand. Because he's giving me a Life Orb, and it's going to do a lot of damage. You see there? And I lose some HP back and just restore it with Synthesis. I, I don't understand the plays that he's making here. But, you know what, we're going to take the Life Orb, and we're going to take out Rotom. Well, I guess he went for another trick, so his Life Orb is back where it belongs. But, you know, it's fine. So with that aside, I'm going to stay in one more time. We're going to go for Seed Flare to hit Stoutland. And holy crap, that does a lot of damage. He goes for a Calier. So I guess I know by now why he left in Rotom. So that he can lose Rotom and then he can, he can go into Stoutland and use Retaliate. Okay, but still, you, you cannot just stay in there and just hope that happens because it might not work out. But it did for him, so lucky for him. Uh, I go for Rock Polish here. And Sword Stance, you guessed it, guys. We're going to go for a little bit of a rampage here with Rhyperior. This is heavyweight, the Rhyperior. He goes for a play rough, hoping to cut down my attacking power, because that can happen. But he does not get that, and we're going to take out Stoutland with a single Earthquake. But here's Gyarados. If that thing goes mega, we're going to... Be in a tough spot. So it is a Mega Gyarados. He did lower my attack with the Antigone ability that I believe he had. Yeah. Uh, he has Mold Breaker as well for his hidden ability there. We're going we're gonna to go for Rock Blast. And I really thought that it would have done a lot more damage. At plus two. That was so weak. Gosh darn it. Now, even if he's going to set up a dragon dance, a jolly plus two speed boosted Rhyperior. I don't know if that was the right way of saying it, but Rhyperior is that fast where a dragon dance isn't going to seal the deal there. So we're going to do some heavy work. We're going to take out Rhyperior, or uh, Magmortar, excuse me, which this Magmortar has a citrus berry. But as long as we can hit, like, one more, apparently, because that did a lot of damage. Oh, my goodness. Right here, you're, you're too strong, and that's going to be the match. So we didn't get a chance to use Hoopa in this battle. Just setting up the Sword Stance and the Rock Polish, and you're done for. That was a great battle, though. Uh, but I still am confused by the plays with the Rotom. Yeah. And this was very similar to the last fight as well, because it went 
relatively fast, and my opponent made some questionable plays. So you can actually compare this match and the other match and say, oh, wow, this is very similar. But uh, all those matches are pretty good, so that's why I'm here posting this. So I hope you guys enjoyed the match. Look out for another battle here soon, and until next time, have a great weekend and a good start here next week. Goodbye, trainers.